So I started vending machine business to make that passive income. I got my first two vending machines from Craigslist and they, they were great. If you want to see the whole journey of me getting my vending machines from Craigslist, me finding location for my vending machine, and how much money I made with my vending machines in the first two weeks, hey, check it out right here. But to grow my business, I need more vending machines. So I went on eBay and bought the cheapest vending machines they had. In this video, I'm gonna be reviewing the Vestar 300 vending machine from eBay. I heard some bad things about it though. That the Vestar 300 is made out of plastic, so a lot of the parts break easy, and it's not durable, but it cost me $100 per machine. So hopefully I can make my money back from these vending machines before they go bad. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to put together the Vestar 3000 the three head vending machine and I'm gonna tell you what I like about it what I don't like about it now let's see what's in the box what's in the box what's in the box Oh snap, another bot. I didn't see that coming. I was the black cat. Uh, I used to have bad luck. Now every girl wanna really matter that much. A college dropout, and if it don't add up, a brother stayed on the move. Glad I packed up slip. So as I'm pulling everything out, I noticed something. No instructions! What a shocker! The cheapest vending machine, Vestor 3000, three head vending machine, doesn't come with instructions? I never would have guessed. Bit but be too calm, make some more jello on, looking too proud, NASA fly, might bring the whole crew down. Since the vending machine didn't come with instructions, let's see what, how, I don't know, man, let's see what we do. I probably look at them online. So I came back to the eBay page, I bought the Vent Stars. It says no manual included, which is fine. So I'm just gonna wing it. But they just raised the prices so you know. Machine is 180, but now it's 60 dollars for shipping. Hey man, I guess I got it before the prices went up. They probably knew I was gonna make a video about it and they raised the prices. So what I'm trying to do is take the whole machine apart. That way I get to know the machine, see how it works, maybe take it out for dinner, get to know it. Just so I could have that good relationship with it. I took at the bottom. So as you see, this controls how much candy I give out per quarter. But I'm wondering if I could give gumballs with these. Hmm, one way to find out. I kind of get how this works. Let's put it together. So that's it. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. Putting on the stands, super easy. Putting this back together, pretty easy. Let's see what else we gotta do. So to put the tray, you actually have to take everything apart and do it from the inside like this. But for some reason, I can't take these out without unlocking it from the back. I don't know why, but now you know. See, there you go. And then you gotta tilt this forward and then out. And to put them back, you have to tilt them like this, and then in. See? Because you can't go like this. You have to tilt it like this, and then in. To be honest, the Vestar 3000 was really easy to assemble. The next test is to see if it actually works. Let's go get some candy. Started on the ground, I'm working in the basement. Made it to the attic, swear it's so amazing. Yeah, I can't even lie, I feel like I just made it. Uh, tell them check the numbers, man, you can't debate it. Don't talk about sage. Got my candy. Went to Smart and Final, spent about $54 on two Skittles, two M&Ms, and one big box of gum. Let's see how much it gives out. My, uh, my first vending machines, they did about seven to 10 of each item. 
that's about half an ounce. Let's see how much we're gonna get for the quarter right now. Nothing. Let's see this one. All right, this one did. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right here. <sighs> I don't know why the. You know what? Let me see. Right, let me try again. All right, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. Now, watch. Come over here. Let me show you how we take out the money. There we go. Uh-huh. There we go. Bow. Imagine this full of quarters. Uh -huh. There we go. One. Maybe the first time it, maybe the first time that Manam spin, maybe it was stuck or something. So let's try it one more time. And like I said, we're looking for seven to ten. Yep, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right there. So perfect. So you know what? The first time, it was just eating. I don't know what happened. I mean, I wish I had other answers, guys. I don't got answers, right? But it's working now. So the middle one, I wanted to have gumballs. So for this one. For sure, I'm gonna have to switch. For sure, I'm gonna have to switch the amount it gives out. All right, so we're gonna take this off. There we go. Got it. All right, see? Now we just gotta test it. Hopefully, it works. And now, what we want is just one gumball. Check it out. Boom. Boom, one. Let's try it one more time. Just to make sure we're getting that consistency. Oh, there you go. Beautiful. Machines are calibrated. It's giving out the right amount. Oh, you know what we need, Matt? Let's put the labels on it. And always make sure to use safety scissors. <laughs> That's some free 99 knowledge right there. All I did was print out some pictures from the internet, cut them up, and I'm just gonna tape them on the inside. See? We don't need to make things complicated over here. What did you do? Five in the morning and I got my mind on loop. I never sleep cause they smoke up in the Bugatti and woke up in the coop. So I'm testing the second machine right here. And for some reason, I keep losing quarters. Watch, let me show you what I mean. I have three quarters. Let's see. One. Now watch, come here. Look how many we got. One. Where'd they go? So, take this off. And, look, they're right there. They're stuck under the mechanism. Yeah, there's three of them already. Right there. What do you expect? I'm still gonna use the machines. Just hopefully that doesn't cause a problem where the quarters get stuck in the plastic 
and when you twist it, it breaks. I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, what do you expect from cheap plastic machines? So, what do you think of this review of the Vestar 3000? For 100 bucks, well, now they raised the price, but for when I bought it for 100 bucks, it's a good starting point. It gets you in the door, it gives you experience and very low entry. But I already have a problem on the first day I put it together where the quarters are getting stuck under the mechanism. I don't know, man. I don't know. If you're tight on cash and you want something cheap just to get started and get experience starting your vending machine business, go with these or find something on Facebook and Craigslist. I'm still going to put these vending machines in the locations, but if you have a little bit more cash, get the metal one, which... You guys, you know what this is? $189 all metal vending machine. From eBay, I'm starting out with the cheapest options first and growing from there. In the next video, I'm gonna be installing this, checking it out, tell you what I like and don't like about it, to help you grow your vending machine business. Subscribe so you can see more videos like this like this video to let me know you enjoyed it and learned something and I'll see you in my next video. I did this heavy!